Okay, so now I'm going to experiment with a few few gobo shapes and see what is kind of working well with uh, with the projects and this projector and uh, this kind of thing spinning around um, seems to work quite nicely. Um, where are we? So if we change change direction on that one, spin that one around. That seems to work really, really well. That's kind of effective. I'm just trying to work out what things are really effective in which particular types of gobos. Um, and I kind of haven't really got my, my head around it yet, but uh, say for example that, it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that effective, but it seems to, kind of, it seems to work. Um, I kind of wanted to make an eyeball, and, and this one is... I haven't got it pronounced enough. I think I should go really thin to really thick to make a big difference on on the edges. Uh, that would probably work quite nicely. Um, that's good. When you put a break in it, that that really makes a, a good effect. Especially if you've got nothing in the middle or very little in the middle. When you when you pile stuff into the middle, it it tends to blurt out uh, what's going on around the outside. Let's have another colour. Um, right now. Let's have another look. See what else I've got. And this was uh, something that one of the guys mentioned, which uh, seems to work quite nicely. Um, it's got a really lovely effect to it. And I was looking at this one um, with um, with with my zoom as well. Um, not that. That's not the zoom. That's the colour. Where are we? So yeah, that's me zooming in and out of that one. And that seems to work quite nice. So uh, that's what the zoom in and out looks like on the uh, on, on the on the TV. So uh, if I get this one right, it actually looks really really good. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that one. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we got some stripes. Yeah, well, um, stripes are stripes. Um, I think it's just too much to be quite honest too much going on um, I also did a sort of like a star inside a star and definition there isn't anything really it's so difficult to see if I can't see it on the camera it makes it very difficult to see with the eye um, this one is, is kind of like a box with a with a broken edge I think if I actually break the edge more make a separation in the sides of the box that would actually come out really well. I mean it's quite good but I think that one actually could be improved a little bit as well. Now this one was kind of like a target as I said I think there's too much going on in the middle on that one but uh, I think if I zoom this one out as I start to zoom it it, it makes a bit of a difference uh, as to what's going on there and zoom it back in again I know, it's come, I'll come back in on another one. Hang on, that's it. I accidentally nudged my finger on the on the desk there. So yeah, so that one will zoom out quite nicely and then zoom back in again. But once again, not really enough definition. So I'm trying to get a good idea of what's good and what's not. That's quite good, which is which is essentially just a circle. Um, I notice this one looks quite good when you when you actually uh, when you zoom it out because all the broken edges all just disappear like trash around the outside that's quite good um, where are we um, yeah I've got some just some bubbles this is okay I think that looks much better on the wall than it does anywhere else but that se seems to work okay so another change of color uh, what else have we got I just got some worms uh, don't know really. It's just an interesting pattern. Don't know if it actually does an awful lot for anything. Let's, uh, let's have a look. And finally, I think this is. Oh no, it's not quite all of it. There's a couple more. So um, it's okay. It's a little sort of like a snowflake thing. It doesn't really work that well. But I think when you zoom this one out, it kind of does. It seems to work quite nice, that one. Um, and then there's a couple more. I think that was the original one that I messed about with. And I sort of did a window kind of thing. So that that sort of works okay, but maybe there's just too much going on in the middle. 
So I quite like the definition of, of broken lines. But, uh, out of all of these, I think things like you know things like that works really really well. You can get some colour on it, and that that one works really really well. So, and then the final thing I've actually done on my board at the moment, uh, apart from the, uh, the the movement of the rotation, is I've actually got a brightness control.